Hi there, stampers, crafters, and YouTubers. My name is Tammy White from stampwithtammy.com. And today is a very exciting day. It's my Stampin' Demonstrator Group's blog hop. And what that means is a bunch of gals in my group have all created some amazing projects and we're all sharing our projects on our blog today. And in this video, I'm gonna share my blog hop project. You're gonna wanna stay tuned to the end of this video because I'm going to be revealing a new giveaway. And you're also gonna wanna pop on over to my blog where you can take our blog hop tour and check out all of these amazing ideas. So, my project starts out as this beautiful leaf card and then it turns into this gorgeous tea light easel card. How amazing is this, right? And it's super easy to make. All right, let's get started. And here is that super, super cool card with the tea light in the back. Here's the fold and here's the tea light. So here it is folded up and you can send it with your tea light in a bubble envelope. I'll be using the Vintage Leaves stamp set and the leaflet framelits which coordinate with that stamp set as well as words from the Paisleys and Posley set. All of these supplies are available in my online store simply by going to this URL or clicking in the link in the YouTube description below. If you're on YouTube you can click right on this video. I also have a free PDF file there for you that has all of the measurements on this card as well as the supplies that we're using today. All right, we're gonna start by scoring our cardstock. This is four and a quarter by 12 inch cardstock. I'm taking the Stampin' Up! paper trimmer and I'm using the scoring blade. You could also use the Simply Score tool for this. I'm scoring at four and eight inches. We have the great slide out little arm for the eight inch mark. And that's our fold. Okay, next we're gonna cut out our leaf. We need it to go through all three layers that we're gonna have on the card. However, the die really um, only cuts through two at a time and, and the gold really needs to be cut by itself. So what I'm gonna do is line up our very vanilla pieces together. We'll cut those two together and then we'll cut the gold. Sorry, <laughs> I've got the magnetic platform down and one cutting pad. I'll try that again. Now we're gonna line up the two pieces and the die, and then we'll cut those two. One cutting pad on top, and we'll cut those. And you can save your pretty leaf cutouts for another project. Now, in order to make sure it lines up on the gold, I'm gonna put the top piece of vanilla and the gold through together. Since it's already cut out of the vanilla, it's just gonna be cutting the gold, and we'll use that as our template. Again, we've got to save that pretty gold leaf for another project. Can't throw that out. But we can actually go ahead and attach these two panels together with some snail adhesive. All right, next we're going to do our stamping. And I've got some vellum cardstock here for our leaf. I'm using Memento Black just because I happen to have it handy. But you can also use our archival black or stays on. We're going to ink up our leaf. I stamped it on the vellum, sort of in the same positioning that it has on our die cut, but it's okay if it's off a little bit. We can always trim the vellum down if we need to. We're gonna give that just a sec to dry. Vellum takes a little bit longer to dry than normal. Now, I, I got ahead of myself and went ahead and attached the vanilla to the gold panel for the inside of the card. So I'm just gonna stamp that on the vanilla. And we can go ahead and attach this to the inside of the card. All right, now we're gonna do a little sponging. I've got some crushed curry, Cajun craze, and rich razzleberry, beautiful fall colors for this card. I'm just pulling some scrap paper in so you can see what I'm doing on the vellum. Sometimes it's hard to see because it's kind of clear. <laughs> I am flipping the vellum over, so I'm sponging on the back side of the leaf. I have a sponge dauber for each color, just putting it on my index finger. I'm a lefty, so <laughs> that's why it's on my left index finger. And I'm just gonna do the entire leaf in the lightest color, which is our crushed curry. 
I'm intentionally going outside the lines. Okay, next we're going to take some Cajun craze. Go crazy with it. Not really, actually. I'm going to leave some of the crushed curry in there, so don't go over the entire leaf with your Cajun craze, just the edges. And last but not least, we've got a little rich razzleberry. Definitely going to do the stem there and just touching the tips of some of the, the leaf. This is what the front will look like. Isn't that beautiful? And wait till we position it in the card. Um, one thing I learned from experience is that I do want that to dry before I put it in the card. So if you're doing a bunch of these, just put them aside for a minute or two so that back dries. Otherwise, if you accidentally touch some of it while it's wet, it'll smear on the front of your card like I did with my original, and you don't want to do that. And when you're ready to attach it, I'm actually going to put some snail adhesive on the back of our front panel leaf. And we'll just line that up. Now, depending on um, how you positioned your leaf, you may need to trim some overhang from the vellum off, like I, I do on this one. You can just trim off any parts that are peeking through. And this panel I attached to the card with some Stampin' Dimensionals. And we're just going to line that up with the leaf underneath. And voila, it's perfect. And just so you can see that, it's so cool, isn't it? It is such a, such a cool effect. Okay, lastly, I'm taking some of these metallic enamel. These are the um, metallic dot stampin up cells these they come in gold and silver and they just peel and stick which are fantastic there's there's hearts and stars and dots which is what we'll be using i took two of the larger there's two different size dots i took the larger ones and used them just above the greeting and that's going to hold our easel down and then i took the smaller dots and i just took three for the front and then when it's assembled, it's going to look like this. Isn't it beautiful? And <laughs> what's funny is I actually did the leaf the opposite direction as my original. <laughs> that is funny. And our beautiful Thanksgiving tea light card is complete. Again, there's a free PDF and you can purchase all of these supplies on my blog. All right, now let's hear about that giveaway. We are giving away the Watercolor Wishes card kit. This is an amazing kit. It makes over 35 cards. It comes with everything you need to make it. It's great to use on the go. It's great for crafters of all levels, especially beginners, and it's also a great present. To enter, all you need to do is pop on over to my blog hop post at this URL and leave a comment with the hashtag Stamp It Contest. And you can enter multiple times. You can enter on every blog in the hop. Simply by leaving a post, make sure it includes your name and the hashtag Stamp It Contest on each post. And you get to enjoy all of these amazing projects. And if you're watching this video after the deadline, don't worry. The winners will be posted on my Winner Circle page of my blog. And all of my current giveaways are listed on my specials page. All right, now it's time to pop on over to my blog and check out all of the amazing ideas that we have laid out for you. Thanks for joining me today.